Here. This is all of our parts for our, I don't know if it's called a knuckle joint or a bevel gear or both. We we're working on the bevel gear, which is in the front end of this Kubota B7200. This is a hydrostat. Um, we had some issues with the bearings going out. So he, I don't know, did you get it all pressed together? Or is that what we're working on? Uh, we're going to press it together. It won't take so we got to press the bearings in. And then we got to try to remember how to put it all back together. It's been, what, a week or so probably since we tore it all apart. We do have some schematics that the Kubota dealership gave us here in town. So shout out to Osra's there in Niles. Thanks, guys. If you take a look right here, this one was on actually on the hub. Uh, where's the hub? Can you see it? Yep. There's the hub. And then the bearing blew up on this one. You can see how shiny it is and how nicked up it is. This is the one that's got to go down in in the shaft. This comes out and makes a 90 that makes another 90. And this was the one that was, I think, like this. And this one hooks into it like that. I think these are, I mean, the kit for these bevel, these bevel gears was what, like $600? So we're trying to repair what we can to save ourselves 600 bucks. So smooth, shiny one goes in here. And it kind of, if you kind of have to just move it till it gets, until it gets, yeah, until it the, lines up. The gears are staggered a little bit. Yeah. Eventually it'll slide on in there. Maybe. There, see how that? They're like not not exactly the same. Got that in there. There's a retaining clip that we gotta put on next. If we can find it. In the box here. There's that back. And hopefully he brought his snap ring pliers. I did. Put it all here in a second, eh? Okay. Hopefully we don't shoot it across the shop. They're like universal. They got different... Uh, don't squeeze it too far. I know, it'll go shooting across the room. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... There we go. Man, that's a lot easier than trying to get it off with a <laughs> pair of screwdrivers. Okay, so it Thanks snapped in there. When you got the There's a little bit of slop, but not much. Just a tad bit. Okay. Uh, I'll set those there. Now we got to press the bearings into this. There's what was left of the bearing. All we had was the steel balls and a few pieces of shrapnel we found in there. That was why it was all chewed up. I got it. I go for that. I don't see the groove. Took the old bearing and cut it, heated it up and downsized it so I could use it for a pusher. Oh, that's a good idea. You hear the solidness of it? Yep. See what he did? He cut that off so you can squeeze it in. I don't why'd you have to cut that right there for? No, I had to cut all this to get it out. Did you weld it back together? No. No, oh, you just notch it so you could squeeze it cuz it was probably too rigid to move. Okay, now there what do go. we got to do? Snap ring goes in there. Just to lock it in the position where you want it. Okay, here we it's go. Really nicer, but It's a release. Okay. I don't know if we're in the groove though. Pop it down a little bit with a hammer or a screwdriver and a hammer or something. Looks like it is though, doesn't it? 
Or do you want to open it up again? No, you should be able just to take it. Go over there on the bench, a little solid in that bench at the bottom. It looks tight right in here. See what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. I'm tapping it into the groove. Looks like it's in there. Yep. This side is like way farther in though than well, over here. Th this is real thick and these are thinner. Oh. So you're gonna get that. <laughs> See that? Kubota, made in India, not Indiana. Kubota. These are not the same part, right? This is a different part. This part here that has the opening in it goes down? Yes. There's a little spring in there, it looks that like. That closes, that keeps the seal more. So the spring goes down? Yes. So is this just a push fit, or am I, are we gonna have to tap yeah, it? You'll have to tap it in a little bit. Just get it started. Get it on the leg, not in the middle of the bench. There's a chick on oh. top there now. So we're using that race as a tapper, and then we're gonna put, put the board on top of it. Hold it. Make sure you stay in center on it. That's looking not looking ah, too that's bad. That's pretty good. I don't think you're going to get any further than that. Okay. A little bit of yeah, I know. something right there. So a uh, wood chip, chunks of wood. Now look at this seal. See the groove in it? Yeah. I would say this has got to go out. That's what keeps the dirt out. This has got a bevel that's going yeah. like this. See the end of it? See the see it's beveled out? Yeah, it's beveled like this and like that. So you're saying this goes down? Yes. Oh boy. We got the little nylon seal down in that groove. We just used a little stick to kind of push it because it's so cold. We were just kind of making sure it was uniform in there. And then now we've got this sleeve and it's got an O-ring down in the center of it. Groove for an O-ring. Yeah, there's a groove. Well, then you got to get this O-ring down in there. So this will be fun to try to get this in there. Okay, there it is. It's in there. I don't know. Can you see it? See how it went in that little spot? This is the top of the That's knuckle. the top. So this has got to go like this. Yes. But don't we got to get that gear in there first? Well, the gear goes in on top. But you're going to have to bring this sleeve back out. And it's got to go on here like this. Probably ought to put a little oil or grease on here. Uh, a little slide a little easier. So there you go. Put a little oil in there. Okay. Now, which way was this going? Boy, I'm glad he was reading, studying his material for his test. <laughs> and what? It's got to get up to it's here. Go up to there. Oh boy. It's, it's stiff. That's what you want to make a good seal. How far? Up about, to here? No, not quite there. Where that's all chewed up is where the bearing goes. Is where that bearing rides at. Like that? Something yes, like that? Like that. Then this goes this way. Yes. This goes up through this hole here. But you only got to slide in so far, then this has got to I know, then we got to get that. And the snap ring. Then this has got to come in this way. Oh boy. This is the tricky part. And that's why they call this the bevel gear, eh? Which way does it... It sits down on the bottom though, doesn't it? Yep. It sits way down here in the bottom. So... And then you gotta do the same kind of thing to get it lined up with the teeth. A 
lot of fiddling. There. Look what do we it. need to do? You gotta look and see if you can get the groove. See if you can get the snap ring in the groove. See the groove yet? No. Gotta tap that shaft up a little more. This doesn't go in there? It does, but we'll worry about that once you get the shaft in the back. Tap that? Yes. It's square, don't break it, don't mush it. There's the groove. Okay. There's the groove right there. Can you see? I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. See the groove in there? Right in front of that gear. Right there. So now we gotta get the snap ring down. What the heck? What in the world? This is what happens when you live on a farm, guys. You got farm animals. man operation I guess okay that's in it looks so like so what's going here dad well we're trying to get this upper bevel gear in and see how the mesh is we painted both those gears put your screws in and start put the screws in down here I need to find that socket that fits it though. Keep going. On the top? Yeah, keep going. Well, my bottom's way hot farther and out then than pull my... it. Then pull it. And tighten it. How is it? Your mind's about closed. You gotta put that on, the bottom part, put the tire back on, put there's a top piece that's gotta go on still, put the steering arm on. This is not an easy job for the home mechanic. Can you see it hitting? Now we gotta add the bearing that goes on top of here. So there's a bearing on top and a bearing on the bottom of this unit, upper unit. I'm gonna tap that in to there and put the cover over it. Pretty much there. It'd be nice if it went down just a little bit further. Uh, That's got to go way down farther. Does this have a seal or anything? Or is the silicone now. That's what the silicone for. Stick this up in there, and then you stick it on. Start pumping. Wait, wait. All right. Oh, oh. All right, keep going. There. Oh, it's in. It's in. Put a little grease on here. See, they don't even put a greaser there. There's grease there, grease there, or the grease. Or you want the um, other no, stuff? That's grease over. They don't even put a greaser right there for that bearing. Right in there? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's like they want them to wear out and then... All right, stick it on. Ooh, it popped right out. Uh, 
because the grease is creating a... Okay, you gotta get that shim on yeah, there. Yeah, get all, all the bolts in first. 